In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through chapter 2.5, Price Changes. We need to look at the causes of price changes. And the answer is simply demand and supply. So firstly, we'll focus on demand. Price changes are due to the factors of demand, which was discussed in chapter 2.2. This is a rise in income, an increase in advertising, favorable government policies, and economic growth or boom phase. And because of these factors, changes in demand will cause changes in the price along the supply curve, which means that when demand increases, it will increase supply. In the case for increasing demand, demand shifts from D1 to D2. This causes a movement along the supply curve, extending it which drives up price from P1 to P2 and quantity from Q1 to Q2. And decreasing demand is when demand shifts from D1 to D2, which is a contraction of the supply curve, which drives down price from P1 to P2 and quantity from Q1 to Q2. The second factor that can change prices is supply. And the factors that affect supply were already discussed in chapter 2.3. This includes the number of firms, changes in technology, and favorable taxes and subsidies. So the changes in supply will cause a change in price and the movement along the demand curve, and prices will fall from S to S1. And in the case for increasing supply, S1 shifts to the right to S2, which is an extension of the demand curve, which reduces the price from P1 to P2 and increases the quantity from Q1 to Q2. And the opposite effect is exactly the same. A decrease in supply will result of the supply curve to shift to the left from S1 to S2. The result of this is that prices will increase from P1 to P2 and quantity will decrease from Q1 to Q2. So moving on to the consequences of price changes. It is perfectly possible for the demand and supply to both change at the same time, as this depends on the size of the change. For example, if the demand for apples increase as it is trending on social media, TV and advertisements, the demand will shift from D1 to D2, but at exactly the same time, if the supply of apples was able to increase due to favorable weather conditions, the supply of apples will shift from S1 to S2. So the result of this is that the quantity will increase from Q1 to Q2, but prices will stay the same at PE. This is a scenario when demand outpaces supply. As you can see, the distance between D1 and D2 is much greater than the distance from S1 to S2. So the result of this is that quantity will increase from Q1 to Q2, but there will be a minimal price change of P1 to P2. I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.